we're not going to have to learn a lot of different things, but you just need to be able to follow these steps. If you go to a store and you saw that the price tag was fifteen ninety nine on a book, but then you saw a sign up that said, hey, you get a 40% discount, that's what you need to do. You need to find 40% of fifteen ninety nine. So here we go. 0.40 times 15.99. Pull out your calculator. Probably clear it if you've got old problems sitting on there. There you go. And I'll tell you what, how about if I just do the, the detached view again? That seemed to work pretty good last time. Okay. So, your discount's going to be $6.40. So, the book originally cost $15.99, but your, again, the discount is $6.40. So, we're just going to subtract $6.40. Why am I rounding? Again, I'm getting kind of tired of saying it, but it's just because it's money. We can only have two decimal places, so the 6 is going to cause this 39 to be jumped up to, to 40. Okay. Now, in our calculator, we can do most of this calculator. 15.99 minus $6.40 is 959. So, this is how much the book is going to cost before tax. Okay. So let's recap. We need to take off the discount. So we take the discount, turn it to a decimal. You know, this percent goes to a decimal, and we times it by the original price. We get a certain number. This is the discount. So that's how much you're saving. So we subtract it, and this is how much you would actually pay before tax. Now go find the tax. See this right here? 4% becomes 0.04 times 959 because that's how much you're going to pay you pay tax on um, what you uh, pay for and we're not paying 1599 we're paying 959 so 0.04 times 959 $38 I'm sorry not $38 it'll be 38 cents Okay, so now find the selling price. That's going to be the before tax price, you know, and the 38 cents. So 9.59 plus 38 cents. Both of these are money. And you just let the calculator take care of it for you. Nine dollars. And 97 cents. All right. So let's go through and let's clear the calculator off so we don't see all this other stuff sitting here. So the game costs $23, and we're going to get a 10% discount. So take this 10% off. What is 10%? Well, 10% of 23 is $2.30. So, $20.70 is what we would actually pay for the game. But that's before tax. Okay? How much is your tax? 6%. So 0 0.06 times $20.70. This is how much your tax is going to be, $1.24. So we take this tax and we add it on to this. $20.70 plus $1.24. Total that you will pay for that game after the discount and including tax, $21.94. 
take off the discount. So let's go figure out what the discount is. 0.15 times $14.50. That would mean we've got a $2.18 discount. So now we've got to do the $14.50 minus the $2.18. So we're only going to pay $12.32 before tax, okay? And now we're going to tax this amount because that's what you're going to pay. So our tax is 3%. So 3% is 0.03 times 12.32. That's going to round to 37 cent tax. So 37 cents plus 12.32. You know, taxes and money, we put that on top of it. We're going to pay a total of $12.69 for the CD. Last one, find 10% of $2.05 because we've got to take that discount off. So 0.10 times 2.05. That rounds to 21 cent discount. Subtract the discount. I'm going to pay $1.84 for the pin before tax. Now look, you've always got to do the discount first. That's the reason I've got steps. Then we're going to do the tax of that discounted price. So um, let's see, the tax is 6%, so that'd be 0 0.06 times a buck 84. This is your tax, so that would round to be 11 cents because that zero is not going to throw a penny on there. It's just going to stay at 11 cents. So a dollar eighty four plus eleven cents. It's a dollar ninety five total. That's how you handle discount and tax.